What's going on, you guys? Slim here with my boy Asian Persuasion, and we are here with Mr. Bling Blau himself. What's up, guys? And what did you do? <laughs> I taught 32 to watch this battle. With what deck? Pure Zero. Awesome. Let's see what you did, man. Get in too, baby. All right, we got three rats, three viper, and three third blade. Um, definitely standard in the pure, pure build. I see some people playing two of this, but like the third one comes up. Essentially, in this format, um, after a barrier is resolved, it is essentially vanilla format. So this is your legit mystical genie. So if you just keep summoning these and attacking, you will win the game, essentially. If you know basic Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, sir. And then three Terra Top and the Brick, uh, best cards. <laughs> uh, Maxi and Ghost Ogre, definitely um, worth it to main deck these. Um, this card is just un unreal. Um, the only out to it really game one is uh, my body, which I decided to main encounter of this. Mm -hmm. But definitely uh, perfect ratio. I wouldn't play three of this. It just don't want to see two. That's it for the monsters. Spells, three barrage, best spell in the deck, hands down. Definitely one of the starter cards. Three tanky, you're playing pure, so you definitely just want to search the rat. Or if you have a Thoroughblade, you search the, the rat, normal Thoroughblade, ditch the rat, draw a card, and it's still your essential combo. And um, then I didn't play Kaiju, so I just made these. Yeah. Uh, in comparison to the Kaiju build, these are the, really the only three bricks. Obviously, then Talk and Tomboard and Combo, but these are the really only bricks that you have going first. Whereas the Kaiju build, you all have seven. And I do side into the Kaiju, so it's essentially the same thing. So you're able to TK game two and three. Uh, Book of Moon, uh, really good card. It's essentially a trap, and it can be used offensively and defensively, so it's a well around uh, balanced card. Uh, main two Cosmic, uh, definitely, I, I, I liked it a lot to hit Barrage. Uh, it came up where. I would just do it on the opponent's turn or my turn, and I, I just like it over Twin because you don't have to discard a card. It's very versatile in that aspect. I mean, to my body, this card was phenomenal. Yeah, it's it was so phenomenal. Good, yeah. I, I'd get Ghost ogre at least once a match, and I actually had this card so oh, many bro, times yeah. to combo counter at game one, and it allowed me to win the game. And against Dark Holes, Regeki, Slumbers especially, yeah. just really good. good. And then Traps, uh, the big six, three barrier, three strike. Uh, you open one of these in your combo, you're essentially in a really good position. And of course, if you open up my body, it, it protects you from board wipes. But yeah, these cards are just absolutely too good this format. Definitely format defining cards right here. Uh, the brick, uh, uh, torrential, another well rounded card. Uh, if you don't open up that well, if they board wipe you and then they go off, this just counters it completely. So you'll have a play next turn and they don't have, you don't have to worry about a dryant. And then emptiness. Uh, I didn't really like this card this re really this weekend because everybody's meaning uh, twister and cyclone. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd probably cut this going forward. Yeah, that's the main deck, 40 cards, uh, extra deck, uh, only one Borbo. Uh, I could see going to two, but like usually after your combo, you recycle it anyway. So you'll still have all four in the extra deck after your combo. So really only one is like really needed. And then two of every other one. Uh, every other one came up. Uh, definitely two of each of these are needed, 100%. Uh, two Emerald, no explanation there. Uh, Totem Bird, Invoker, obvious. Uh, Samurai in there for the OTK potential with the Kaijus. And even just with the main deck, if you just make like, you summon a Viper, have a Third Blade and Viper already under uh, a Zodiac Exceed, just go for it, because. Uh, lightning Package, didn't come up at all today. Actually, no, it did come up once against actually Sub Terrors. <laughs> against, uh, against Nemesis Archer, but that, that was really Don't it for me. these. I wouldn't really play these. Anything else could be fine. And Rhapsody, in theory, it's good against the Mirror if you banish a Rat or two, or like Infernoids to banish their uh, Anukus and Deviatis. But that's it really for there. I didn't play a single Inferno at this, oh, this wow, tournament. Wow. It was that's crazy. Great. So I don't know how that matchup goes, yeah. by the way. Uh, and then side, three Kaiju and three Slumber for going second. Just have as many outs as possible. Um, mind Control. Spicy. Oh, baby. Um, this card was okay. Um, I, I didn't really theorize it that much, but um, if you just... It's essentially destroy Dryden. That's what this card means. Just destroy Dryden. Or destroy any monster on your opponent's board, because they'll just pop it before you get a chance to take it. Mm -hmm. So it's not that bad. Uh, three anti spell against the metal foe deck, and sometimes if I'm feeling it against the mirror, this way they can't tanky barrage, instant fusion, any of that crazy shenanigans. Or if they set twin twister or chalice, they can't use it until my their next turn. Yeah. So it's very good in that aspect. Three iron wall against the infernoids I did not play against <laughs> the entire weekend, and two day chain of spirits. This card is phenomenal in the mirror. Like if you banish all the rats, it's literally I'm yeah. not even meaning it figuratively, literally vanilla format. So if you have a third blade and tanky, you should win the game automatically. Yes. Yeah, Beat crazy. down. And that's it. So any oh, shout outs you want to give, man? Shout out to Alexander. I'm retired. Lesgath for the main list. Uh, I tweaked a few cards here and there. 
Um, shout out to the card guys, best team in the world. Yes, you already know, top number five. Um, Bling Blau, of course. <laughs> Bling Blau. Uh, shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. Uh, Discord chat, uh, the Nerd Herd. Um, that's about it. Everybody that's been supporting me, thank you guys. And we'll see you guys at White Atlanta. Sounds good, man. Congrats. Thank you, thank you.